Hi, this is T. Payton, and I am looking at a couple of techniques that I have been using on replacing shots in Final Cut 10, especially when we have effects works, effect work to do in them. So here's a little project that I looked at um, last time also. This is supposed to be taking place in Egypt, and what we've done is added a sphinx and a pyramid up there to sell it a little better. That was done in AE. Um, by the way, in case you're wondering how we got that out of there, um, we just found the shot in the finder and opened up an AE, modified it, brought it back in to Final Cut 10, um, put it in the clip connection for AE renders, and were able to um, do the replacements there. Now, w one thing you can't do inside Final Cut 10 is do a reconnect edit of one clip to another, and I actually think that's a good thing. Um, I'm sure that Final Cut, I'm mean, sorry, the Final Cut team rather at Apple will be supplying a good um, fix um, for us soon on how to deal with um, the need to reconnect media. Well, commentary aside, uh, let me get to my little tutorial here. So last time I showed you how to sync with something in the middle of a shot. So in this case, I was, I was syncing to about right here. But I was kind of overlooking the obvious that we can sync to the head or the tail of a shot too. So let's look and see what's the best candidate for this shot. Um, here's the head. Wow, not a lot happening. It's going to be difficult to sync to. Um, let's look at the tail. That looks a lot easier to sync to. So let's go to the tail of the shot. Go back one frame. There we go. And that looks like something, an easy thing to sync up to. I've got the clip already loaded up here in my browser. I'm going to switch to my browser, hitting Command-1. And I'm going to click over here, approximately where it is. That might just be it. Now, to flip back and forth, because I don't have a viewer in a canvas, use Command-1 and Command-2. And look, I, I got to the, to the right place. So I'm going to hit an out point there, because we're going to sync to the out point. I'm going to go back to my timeline. I'm going to put an out point there also. So at this point, you would think, well, you just do a clip connection. And that looks fine. However, let's play that back. As am I. Ah, I don't know if you could see that, but that's completely out of sync. So what's going on here? Well, remember, we were syncing to the tail or the, the end of the clip. So what we need to do is a back timed three-point edit, so to speak. Now, Final Cut 10 is always going to create an in point and an out point anytime you make a selection. You can't just make an in point or just an out point. So we have to tell Final Cut 10, hey, do we want to back time this or do we want to do it from the um, in point of the clip or front time, I guess. So in this case, we need to do a back time. So how to do um, a back time is just hold down the shift key well, you do the command. So in this in this sense, we're going to do Shift Q. And now, as am I. Perfect. Okay. Now that's all synced up. So that's kind of a big deal that you have to do the back timed. But let's look at some other options for replacing this clip. I noticed in the forums some people were saying, "Well, hey, why don't you just do a detach the audio and do a regular replace edit?" Well, that would work. However, why I would be against it is you would have a difficult time referencing the original clip in the first place to sync, to know if you were in sync or not. And I would rather keep my original clip there. But if you wanted to live dangerously and you wanted to detach your audio, let's look at how to do that. So let's look at this clip and let's right click on it and choose detach audio. Whoa, can detach audio. What's going on? Maybe it's because it's collapsed. Let's try this again. Oh, still can't detach audio. Well, that is because this is an audition clip, as you see. So let's choose here to finalize audition. Now, when you first look at this, you're like, whoa, what happened to my L cut? What happened? I'm sorry, my J cut. What happened to my L cut? Well, it's still there. Just double click to expand the audio and you can see your L and J cut. So everything's okay. So now we can detach audio. Okay, great. And at this point, 
since we back in our browser we still have the right out point selected then we can do a replace edit and the replace edit we want to do is replace from end cleverly enough and now we have a clean replace but now I'm more interested in eating as am I and that works fine again not my personal personal favorite to uh, detach audio but um, if it works for you that's fine so like I said I'm not a big fan of detaching the audio but here's one other technique that you don't have to detach audio but you can still have the cleanliness of your timeline and that is to simply open the clip in the timeline but before we do that let's do this let's duplicate his audition so what this enables us to do is is have an original reference to the version without the effect or the replaced sky that is so now let's open this in timeline and this is interesting look what we're opening we're opening actually the audition of this clip and now this is painfully easy don't worry about endpoints or outpoints or anything just drag and replace and now notice in the timeline it's the entire clip and it even goes beyond the in and out points of or what we've selected the edit points um, of it so now if you go back we have our effect in place to remember him so was I and that's pretty fantastic plus you can use control left and right to show your original shot as so that's that's pretty nice to be able to show the director uh, back and forth so now if I would have known about that technique I would have used it all over the place but that's a great thing to do is just open up the timeline perhaps create an addition so you can flip back and forth and have a really nice replace edit 